Okay, so let's have a look at the third adjustment for summer 2022 paper for ratios. And it says the period of credit days or credit received from trade creditors. So how many days do we get before we have to pay our bills? So it is the opposite to your trade creditors or your opposite to your trade debtors. So to formula for a period of credit given to creditors is our creditors divided by your credit purchases. Now this is important with your credit purchases. If you've got carriage in included in it, you need to take away your carriage in away from your credit purchases because that figure that you have is for your total purchases and we're just looking at credit purchases. So the figures that we need here, we need our creditors and we need our credit purchases. Now our creditors are going to be taken from the balance sheet. So our creditors in this question is 44,000. And then our purchases then is up in our profit and loss account. So we're going to have our purchases, which includes carriage in of 5,000. So that's going to give us 800 or 386,000. Now that 306, 386,000 includes your carriage in. Now we just need our credit purchases figure. So we need to take this 5,000 away from the 386. And that's going to give us our credit purchases. So for this fig, for this reason, we need to know that our carriage in is 550,000. So my purchases figure is 386. I need to take away my carriage of 5,000 because that's my carriage in purchase, carriage in figure. This 386,000 includes that carriage in. So remember this 386 is my purchases plus my carriage in of 5,000. So I need to take that 5,000 out to get my credit purchases. So 386,000 minus 5,000. That's going to give my purchases of 381,000. And that's the figure that I need for this formula here. So now I have my creditors of 44,000 and I have my credit purchases of 386,000. So now I can fill in my formula. So my creditors, 44,000. My credit purchases, 381,000. Now I usually multiply these by days. I find my answer in days. So I'm going to multiply by 365 days. You can find it in months. And multiply it by 12 if you want. So I'm going to take 44,000, divide that by 381,000. That's going to give me 0.11548. And I'm multiplying this figure that I got, multiplying it by 365, and I'm going to round it to two places of decimal. So 42.15 days. So when we purchase stock, we are being given. 42.15 days before we pay for that stock. So that's our credit days. So remember important here is this figure for credit purchases. If the figure in the profit and loss account says credit purchases including carriage in, you have to take that carriage in out to find your credit purchases figure. So we took 386, took away 5,000, that gave us credit purchase of 381. So if my formula says creditors divided by credit purchases, my creditors is 44,000 divided by 381. It's going to give me a figure. I'm looking for days. So remember the units that I'm using is days. So I'm multiplying this figure by 365 and that's going to give me 42.15 days. So remember with this question, always write out the formula, find a figure that goes into the formula, and then it's a step-by-step -step process to get the correct answer. So that's the second adjustment for summer 2023. For the third adjustment for summer 2023, finding the period of credit received from trade creditors.